think that's another F1. And we're here on Farmer Jack Lake at Docklow Falls today. And I'm told that this venue was actually named after a, a local character who used to fish here called, I should expect, Farmer Jack. And this lake certainly has got no shortage of character itself because as well as a large island, it's got plenty of nice margins. That's actually where I'm fishing today, down the edge. And it's full of F1s and also some bigger carp. Now, when I fish on here, I like to keep things really, really simple. There's no point overcomplicating it. There's a lot of fish in here. And I think the best way to catch them is on pellets. So, look at that. Lovely Farmer Jack F1. It's got to be... Typical of the F1s in here, they've got to be a good three pound. Lovely, lovely looking fish. So in terms of my approach today, I'm fishing nine meters down the edge. I've found a flat gravel bottom where I can present the hook bait really nicely without going too tight to the marginal features, but still giving me a degree of cover from the overhanging reeds. The crucial thing with that is the hard bottom that I mentioned. It means that the F1s can feed confidently without burrowing into silt, which can lead to problems with line bites, foul hookers, etc. So really take your time when you're plumbing up on this lake. You'll feel silt, and then as you come in, you should start to feel a harder bottom, and that's where you should fish. In terms of depths, we're in October at the moment, so you can get away with fishing in fairly shallow water. I've got about two and a half to three foot of water there. Um, which I think is a nice depth. It's deep enough for fish to feed comfortably um, without them. Um, being too deep for them to start coming shallow when a lot of bait goes into the peg. Just to run you through my rig, I've got a size 18 PR36 on there with a small Drenham bait band and a 6mm pellet. Nice long 12 inch hook length. I like a long hook length when big F1's are the target because I do think they're, they're quite wary. I know a lot of people favour bulks quite close to the hook and short hook lengths but personally I think a longer fall certainly gets you a better stamped fish and also means you miss less bites. Got a bulk at the top of that, just six stots, and then my uh, trusty 0.2 gram Mick Wilkinson Pinger. Elastic wise, we've got size 13 Preston Innovations Hollow. In terms of feeding, um, again, I'm keeping things very nice and simple today. Just a case of pinging a few pellets uh, early on in the session to draw a few fish in. Then, when I've actually gone on the line, I've been kinder potting some bait in one of these guru pots. Just tapping a few pellets around the float to keep things nice and tight and really bring the fish in on the feed. There's a lot of silver fish in this lake as well, so if you want a nice day skimmer and roach fishing, you can catch a few on there. Although, to be 100% honest, if I was after skimmers and roach, I'd probably go on either Moby Dick or Mickey Mouse, which are two of the most prolific silverfish lakes, but there are silverfish in here as well. But predominantly, here on Farmer Jack, you're targeting big F1s and carp. <laughs> 